Sandra Myers y hoy vamos a hablar de los mandatos informales. We're going to learn how to use informal commands in Spanish. We will look at both afirmativo, telling someone to do something, and negativo, telling people not to do something. Our first example is the AR verb bailar. The first step is to take off the last two letters and add A. The second verb we're going to look at is comer, to eat, and this ends in ER. So you're going to take off the ending and add E because it is an ER verb, so you have come. Next is an IR verb, escribir. So very similarly, you're going to take off the IR and add an E. The A and E are opposite letters in Spanish. So when we talk about adding the opposite letter, the opposite of AR is going to be E, and then the opposite of an ER verb will be A. But if you want to tell somebody not to dance, you obviously have to put no to make it negative, and then you have the same stem, by, but instead of an A, you're going to add the opposite ending, which is E, with an S. So it's baila, no bailes. When making the command negative, you need to add the opposite ending plus S. Now coming to the verb comer and escribir. The affirmativo for comer is come, eat. So the negative is going to be no. And the opposite of E, like we said, is A. So it's going to be no comas. Mm -hmm. For the verb escribir, we have escribe, and the negativo will be no escribas. So one last time, this picture is a good reminder. If you have a verb that ends in AR, the affirmative command will also end with an A, whereas the negative will end in ES. For ER and IR verbs, the affirmative ending will be E, and the negative will be AS. I hope that you guys learned a lot from this video and that you have fun using your mandatos.